piece of salt, motherfucker. Let me see what the high is. The high is going to be 41, they say, but where the sun comes out, it seems like it's going to be a little warmer. It's 49 in here. Today is Sunday. we trying to get out here a little earlier. Okay. Let me go on and break this down to you a little bit. It's the real deal. Maybe I shouldn't go here, but I'm gonna. I could be real arrogant, but there ain't no reason. Because when a person's arrogant, it's what I learned. Pride cometh before a fall. When you think you're all that, God will put you in check. If y'all don't believe in God, that's your own thing. I've seen God work in my life so many times. I ain't the most religious, holy roller man there is. I believe in God. I see it happen. Here's the point in this video. You know, um, once I put out my um, personal email, tbowandtommy at outlook.com, I got this guy named Craig. He sent me some pictures of a polling post. That's cool. That's the cool part of YouTube. Then you get some people who want to say some stupid stuff. That's part. Of, that's just part of the territory. Maybe it's time to explain this a little bit about this garage. People be saying, you know, I'm living off my mom's money, um, inheritance, all this. When my dad passed away, that's my mom's money. Ain't my money, ain't my brother's money, ain't no, it's my mom's money. Now let me see, tell you the other side of it. Did I take this garage in this house as an inheritance? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I wanted the garage, but I didn't want the house. But one comes with the other. I'm gonna tell you what's really gonna happen. I got one brother left. He's single, my brother Scooby. Love him to death. Ever since my brother and my dad passed away, me and Scooby like thick as thieves, bro. Because when you and your family dies off, you start holding on to what you got. Point being, you want, you want to know where this money came from? I'll tell you where this money came from. Tell me, shoot, bust this motherfucking nutbag first thing. I'll give you a little example. Y'all must have forgot the 16 months that you put in this motherfucking garage. I ain't trying to get anybody to say amen or anything about that. I'll get to my point. It's like this lift. Remember that thing was seized? And I had to put hard earned time into it? Everything in life is about time or money. It all equals the same. You know, I put the windows in, the drywall. Had, did I get some help? Yeah, I got some help. But the shoe was out here every day. It's an up and down roller motherfucking coaster. You know my Corvette? Y'all seen enough videos of it? It ain't together. No, it ain't together. It might not never be together. I crashed that in 07. Hagerty totaled that car out. Do I still got it? Yeah. I had a trip for 20 grand. Or I could buy it back for 1600 and take the $18,400. I want that car done. But sometimes you got to give up something to get something that you really want. Don't want to do this kind of hell no. But everybody got to go to work. See that right there? Count it up. That's 18.4. I got that in 07. So when I crashed my back, I had an option. I made a good choice, I guess. <clears throat> I told myself I rolled on the quarter panel. 07 is when I crashed that bet. I wasn't going to touch that bet until 08. I was going to give myself a year to think about it. Now, here's the other side of it. I go to work every day, and motherfuckers knew I had a Corvette. Where's the Corvette? I crashed it. Why don't you get another one? 
I'm waiting. Why are you waiting? I don't know. Something tell me I just need to wait. And I hear that shit. The funny thing is the motherfuckers was just getting down on me and dogging on me about not getting another vet. They never even had a vet. This is what I thought. You know, I could go and get another vet and go on drive back and forth to work and be happy for about a week. And then while I'm driving to bed, I'm happy. As soon as I get to work, I ain't happy, and I wasn't happy. So I walked. I was scared as fuck, but I was tired of going to work. I was tired of sell my motherfucking light bulb. Here's my point. That money gone. I ain't rich. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my motherfucking ass. I guess my whole point is, you young strapper bus can get what you want. But you might have to sell a toy or two along the way. Because there's a certain individual out there made a comment that <laughs> My spray booth ain't nothing but a metal box with lights. You right. You right. It is just nothing but a metal box with a fan and lights. But you know what? That metal box and them lights and that exhaust fan is my goddamn dream. When somebody downplays it like it ain't nothing, that bother me. When people say, I was born with a silver spoon in my ass. Does that bother me? Yeah. Especially when they ain't seen a mother... They ain't watched the last 16 months where I sacrificed. I gave up 16 months of my life. I didn't know how to do electricity and drywall and put a cut. Y'all must have forgot the carport fell down. Landed on the caddy. I ain't making you all feel sorry for me. But there's two sides to every motherfucking story. I gave up 16 months of my life. That's a long fucking time. Anybody out there ever worked on one project for 16 months? If you have, then you know what it feel like. Because I thought that was a little haterism when they say, ain't nothing but a metal box. Okay. People out there got tools that I'd really like to have. But you know what? There's a time and place for everything. I want everything. I don't want to go to work in a motherfucking factory to get that everything. I've been there, done that. You know how I get my shit most of the time? I fucking hustle, horse trade. Like it used to do back in the old days. I got a, I got an ox to the plow your field. Maybe I can get some of your corn when harvest time come in. It's called bartering, horse trading. That's what it is. This ain't pointing at nobody. Pointed at a few. And you know what's funny? The few that said this bullshit, I already kind of knew, but I thought they was my friends, but I really knew deep down it wasn't my friends. I'm gonna go on a pill called the boot today. Don't never try to take a man's motherfucking happiness. That's wrong. Do not ever be envious or jealous. There's people that got bigger houses than I want. There's people that got a whole car collection I won't. If people got nicer tools than me, I won't. But I can't have everything. I had to narrow it down. 
to what I really, really wanted. Even though I sacrificed my time and my money, I'm gonna tell you how I got this. Y'all can believe it or not, it don't matter to me. She don't give a fucking shit. Ain't that right, Pops? You motherfucking tell them. I make everything, cause you know what? I ain't big pimping. Between my mom, cause I'm grateful my mom didn't even have to give me this goddamn garage. She knew it was my fucking dream. This right here. That's where it came from. Y'all don't wanna believe that? Don't believe it. I can't make you believe nothing. Like I tell people, it's like this. You could talk until you blew in the face. You can. Sometimes they listen, sometimes they don't. Shoe ain't no prophet, he ain't no preacher, he ain't nothing, he just a mere man. This is what I learned a long time ago with my boys. Love them to death. I couldn't be my son's best friend. Wanted to be. But that wasn't my job. My job was to tell my boys what I thought. I might even be wrong sometimes, but I had to tell them what I thought and what they next move need to be in life to set themselves up. I didn't want my boys to get a girl pregnant real quick and got some babies. Now I'm good with my life. That was my, I ain't gonna say it was a mistake. I, my boys are all that the bag of chips to me. But I didn't want them to struggle like I did. And that was my choice, my boss. Now they both in school, going to college. They chose that. They chose that. They made better choices than me. Everybody got a fucking choice every day to do whatever the fuck they want. So don't go on hate on some motherfucker. Don't be jealous of people. Take all that energy and go and get what you gotta get your damn self. Go in the trenches and fucking woo, like a motherfucking train. And you know the shoe, he get a little riled up once in a while, okay? And forget to leave out certain details. That 18-4 that I got for the vet, it's sitting right in this garage. That's right where it's sitting. In my house. The ghetto garage. I'm gonna put that up for sale. I've been there for 32 years. I thought I was gonna live and die there. Life changes. Cause I, I ain't I don't see the big picture. I thought I was there forever a day. I'm gonna go and sell that house. I ain't never been through that shit. I'm kind of nervous about that too, but you got to, you can't be afraid of shit. I'm gonna sell that house and give that my that money to my mom. And then my mom wanted to move to Florida because she done sold her house in Florida. They had two houses. My mom is a budgeter. My dad didn't save no money. My mom did. My mom was man. She take a quarter and squeeze it to a dollar fifty. I'm here to tell you. That's why I learned a little bit of something something. She sold a house in Florida and my dad got, got set. And my mom didn't want to sell it. She did not want to sell it. But she knew something was telling her she needed to go on and sell it and take care of my dad. So I'm going to give my mom the money from my house so my mom can move to Florida. Because she liked the warmth. So do I. But I got a garage and I got to deal with winter. That's the way life is. I made my choice. When nobody's bust but mine, and I'm good with that. My brother Scooby gonna go on to Florida with her. And me and my brother Scooby talk about this. I don't like talking about this shit. When Scooby, when my ma is gone, Scooby finna move back here. 
and we all gonna live in this house together. Me, Scooby, and my wife, and I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Like Paul Harvey said, that's the rest of my fucking story. So from here on out, y'all wanna say some stupid shit? At least you know the story now. Always two sides to every motherfucking story, always. Just cause a motherfucker says a story first don't mean it's true. Here the other end. Don't let a motherfucker backdoor you.